play by ears. All this music that you can hear today is just came from my heart and came from my brain. So I improvise a lot. I, I study music. I, re, I, I, I do read music. But when I learn something, I just forget. I just stop forget. So, <laughs> so um, that's why I am, I am so happy. Uh, I, I had that good feeling today with all of you. You are my friends. about growing up with your musical family? Well, it was a wonderful um, um, experience uh, because we are so close family and we start because of my father. My father told us when he came to Venezuela, he's from Spain, and um, he just fell in love with the Venezuelan harp. So he said, well, if I have a child, I would like to play the harp. And that's why I am here playing the harp. So we grew up in that environment, musical environment, and um, all my brothers, my baby brother Gabriel, and three more than half, we all together ensemble a group, and the name is uh, the Children of the Big House. The and Children of the Big House. Yes, yeah, because we live in a really big house in San Antonio, Venezuela.
I found a long time ago a um, song. It's a jota from the 1500th century. And uh, I was research. I do my research with music. And um, so I found this perfect for harp. It was playing for with uh, guitars. And I just tried to play the harp and sounds really nice. Gabrielle, what was it like growing up as the youngest in this family, and what instrument did everyone play? Well, um, she always been the happiest. <laughs> the star we call her because she was attracting the attention from the people, you know. And um, my oldest brother, he he was a bass player, and he is. You know? um, another one plays a quattro, which is part of the musical instrument from Venezuela, and maracas. And I used to sing and dance. I don't do it anymore, but, <laughs> but uh, now I play the bass, which I really like playing with her. And it uh, was a nice experience. I didn't like it when I was a kid, but now I, I just realized how good it was for me to grow up in a family, playing music together and visiting places. It was really nice. Experience. And what did your parents do and with the, the group? Yeah, and the very important addition was my mother, because she said, wow, these children look and play music. How about me? So she started singing with us. So it was the most important experience in our life and will be forever in our memories. And my father was a manager. Oh, okay. So he didn't perform with you? <laughs> no. Uh, he plays. He plays the lute. 
Oh, okay. He has a guitar, but he, he never. Oh, well, he he did like the presentation. Um, still stay in Mexico. So now I would like to play La Feria de las Flores. It's like the um, La Feria, the Flower Fair, La Feria de las Flores. So when we came back because my mother gave it to him a Mickey Mouse, he said, well, I want to go, because, you know, even though he was now two years old, and he wants to go, but uh, two, two small, so, anyway, we have uh, wonderful memories all together, playing stuff on the stage, and um, that's why um, I cannot wait to go to Venezuela, we make a once a year trip to Venezuela, and practice with all of them, I, we play, uh, for example, uh, I paid for my wedding eight years ago, and I paid for my brother's wedding two years ago. So this is when we get together, special uh, celebrations. So now I would like to go back to my country, Venezuela, and play another joropa, very fast, temple, happy music, La Periquera. La Periquera means something very special. We uh, talk a lot, my brothers and I, so my daddy called us Periquera. Periquera means a little bird, all together make a lot of noise, so we were la periquera. 